So today I have a broken, I broke my choke cable right here, you can see, um, when I was trying to get it out of my carburetor. And so there's a couple different things you can do. Um, the one that I saw the most on the internet was to spray it with carb cleaner and then let it eat around um, the outside of that thing because supposedly carb cleaner, cleaner is pretty rough on plastics. And so I sprayed it in there and left it overnight. And then what I started to do um, is I took a flat flathead screwdriver and I just pushed it down in there um, and I started turning it. It kind of took me a while to, for it to finally catch. Um, I backed it out of there quite a ways and then I ended up actually breaking, or not breaking, but destroying my spring. But luckily I'm getting a new carburetor um, so it'll come with all this stuff. And so as you can see, my piece is still stuck in there. Um, it's not a big deal right now. I just wanted to show you what I was doing because like I said, I'm getting a new carb. Um, and so what I was doing is I was pushing down pretty hard and then just twisting and it slowly just backed this piece out. And you can see that um, the plunger part came out of it or the plastic piece came out. So that's how I did it. Um, you can buy a new choke cable, but to get the little things off Amazon, um, this little piece right here, it's only like nine bucks. And so now my carburetor is free. Um, I couldn't get it off before. So that's what I did. Uh, like I said, I destroyed my spring. But so if you are worried about that, you can buy new carburetor, new spring, new parts. But that's how I got it out so I can unhook it from the ATV to be able to work on it or do whatever you needed to do.